welcome to the Amber and Catherine Show with your hosts, Catherine and Amber. This week, we're going to be discussing the chapter in the field in the novel The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Later on in this podcast, we are going to have an interview with character Jimmy Cross. In this chapter, we are introduced to a more in depth look of the setting of the Vietnam War and the character's new emotions. The first few lines describe the fatigued and miserable men wading through a mucky field and their thoughts on Kiowa being gone. For example, at daybreak, the platoon of 18 soldiers formed into a loose rank and began tramping side by side through the deep muck of the shit field. Because we can see all the characters' inner thoughts and emotions, this chapter's point of view is in third person, on munition. With this point of view, we can really see the characters' reactions without the narrator. In the chapter, O'Brien demonstrates characterization through a psychological and the psychological issues in the chapter through Jimmy Cross's reaction to Kaiwa's death. Some of the devices we see in the chapter are irony, imagery, including tactile and olfactory, third-person omniscient point of view, and tone. An example of olfactory imagery is seen through Cross's view on the field. It was a dead fish smell. Partly, but something else. An example of tactile imagery is, he remembered grabbing the boot. He remembered pulling hard, but how the field seemed to pull back. These two types of imagery helps the reader connect with the chapter and visualize it, making them feel like they're in the chapter. One of the examples of irony is, man talk about irony. I bet if Kiowa was here, I bet he'd just laugh, eating shit. It's your classic irony. This is ironic due to the fact that Kiowa is buried beneath the mud, covered in mud. This quote by the character Azar reveals his way of coping with the war. Azar, throughout the chapters, always reacts to serious situations with jokes. Later on in the chapter, we see that Azar begins to feel guilty for the things he says. For example, Listen, he said, those dumb jokes, I didn't mean anything. I guess not. But I feel sort of guilty almost. Like if I had kept my mouth shut, none of it would have ever happened. Like it was my fault. Throughout the chapter, we begin to realize that all the characters hold a certain amount of guilt. Another character we can view through a psychological lens is Mitchell Sanders. In the chapter, he is bitter towards the Lieutenant Jimmy Cross for making them set up in a field, as we talked about earlier, and firmly believes their poor location was the reason for Kiowa's death. He says to Norman Bowker about Jimmy Cross, The man knew it was raining. He knew about the river. One plus one. Add it up. You get exactly what happened. Mitchell Sanders places more guilt on Jimmy Cross and is desperate to find Kyra's body as they search through the field in this chapter. We can also see that the character Jimmy Cross holds a lot of guilt not only for Kiowa's death, but for the death of other soldiers and for bringing his men back to the field. An example is... Lieutenant Jimmy Cross felt something tighten inside of him. He would place the blame where it belonged. Throughout the chapter, Cross is so focused on his mistakes and Kiowa's death. Cross regrets setting up in the field due to the current state of it. It is muddy, rainy, and disgusting. Cross puts a lot of emphasis on mistakes in this chapter, like you just said about placing the troop in the field and also his view on mistakes. For example, a stupid mistake. That's all it was. A mistake but it had killed Kiowa. This quote represents how Cross feels guilty. One of my favorite lines in the chapter is on page 170. It reads, In the field, though, the causes were immediate. A moment of carelessness or bad judgment or plain stupidity carried consequences that lasted forever. This represents how the war is almost like a different world for the men and also shows the importance of men's decisions along with the weight of the consequences. Now with that brief summary of the chapter and analysis, it is time for our special guest to make an appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Lieutenant Jimmy Cross. Thanks for having me, Amber and Catherine. It's great to be here. Great to have you too, Jimmy. We just wanted to ask you a few questions about your time in Vietnam, specifically when you and your men were in that field. Oh... I remember that. Tell us, Jimmy, what really happened to Kiowa? I remember Kiowa. He was a good man. We were walking in that blasted field when a few mortars hit close by. Then I heard a scream, 
and immediately I knew it was Kiowa. I tried to save him. I remember grabbing his boot, but feeling it slip through my fingers, and then he was gone. I'm sorry you had to experience that. Was there anything you would have done differently? Yes. Yes, of course there was. I would never have taken my men to this shit field. I can't even begin to tell you the amount of guilt I felt after losing Kiowa. It was all my fault. So, Cross, why did you go back to the field? I just could not lose a member of my command like that. Kiowa was a great man. Such a great man to be lost under the slime of a muck field. We were trained to treat soldiers as interchangeable units of command. I hate this way of thinking because all my men were great. They were all young and didn't deserve to die in the war. But that's what made them great. Their courage. So what do you think of this chapter? I thought it was really interesting. It really did show the emotions of all of us. I believe that O'Brien did a great job writing it. At first, when O'Brien said he was going to write a novel about us, I was worried that he wasn't going to portray us correctly. But I was wrong. This is one of my favorite chapters because it really showed the men and I's determination and guilt. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Jimmy, and for sharing your powerful story with us. To summarize, we discussed The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien and how the chapter In the Field can be viewed using a psychological lens through the different characters' emotions, such as guilt and desperation. Yes, thank you very much, Lieutenant Cross. Thank you for sharing your view on this chapter. And thank you all for tuning in to the Amber and Catherine Show. I'm Amber. And I'm Catherine. And we'll see you next time.